All right, let's talk about information products and selling information and also bonuses as well. Now, um, people come to the internet, they come to the internet for two reasons, all right? Uh, maybe you've heard me talk about this before. I got it from old man Gary Halbert. What, what did he say? Uh, he said, people come to the internet for two reasons. One is contact, the other is content, okay? Uh, by contact, uh, a sense of propinquity, a, a sense of connection with people, okay? Um, you certainly see this on Facebook, Twitter, uh, you know, celebrity gossip sites, uh, news sites to an extent, uh, and, and so on. You also, uh, really, the biggest place where that happens is in your email inbox, okay? So that, that's a big part of it. The other thing, though, is content. And what I mean by content is the answers to the, the burning questions that we have. So, so if we go to Google and we type, uh, you know, uh, uh, how do I get him to commit? Uh, the community comes in. How do I get him? Look at look what comes up here, right? But right by the way, um, qu quite fascinating. How do I get him to communicate? How do I get him to com come back? How do I get him to commit? So even before saying how do I get him to commit, there's two other big burning questions that a woman might have when it comes to um, uh, you know her man. You know, it's kind of magic eight ball stuff. How do I get him to co uh, communicate? Okay, so how do I get him to communicate? Let's find out. Um, uh, how to get guys to communicate? Well, wiki how. Uh, uh, savvy miss. Um, uh, she knows .com and so forth. They uh, supposedly provide the answers. Um, there's a lot of this that goes on on the internet. People are really going to the internet for one or, or both of these things. They're either going for a sense of uh, connection or they're going to get answers to their burning questions, the correct answers to their burning questions. And um, that's where info products come in and, and bonuses as well. You know, when we, when we make a hard product, something like, uh, well, when Apple makes a, this is a track a tracking pad, or this is a, uh, a hard drive, um, or, uh, you know, uh, this is, I bought this the other day, this is Beats, a Beats headphone situation of some sort, Beats by, by Dr. Dre, uh, so like, kind of like a headphone situation. Then, uh, you know, or, or you know, this is, you know, keys to my car. Th th these things have a, a high a high cost to get started, you know, including the, the lighting that's, you know, lighting my face right now, or... Uh, this is the, the cap of an orange juice bottle or whatever. And um, th these physical goods have, have a really a high cost to get started. They have a high barrier to entry. Uh, we, you know, first of all, we have to invent them in the first place. And we have to invent the right thing. And then we have to physically produce the products and schlep them around here and there. And they have a high cost. But when we take something like, uh, let's see, like a book. This is one of my favorite books of all time. Uh, Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Highly recommend it, by the way. Um, you take a book like this, and then uh, you know the game kind of changes, especially once it becomes a, a, an ebook and once it's an electronic product. And I have a lot of uh, ebooks on my my uh, iPhone or you know where I can access them on my iPad or whatever. Um, th then really the game changes once we're creating information that people want. But what's more valuable? I mean, really, if I had to choose between you know these particular headphones, oops, these particular headphones in this book. Well, I mean, it's it's a little bit apples to oranges, but you know, if uh, you know, it's a little bit apples to oranges. But um, if it came down to, gosh, I don't know what what else would be something that would be kind of similar, something something for entertainment. Well, first of all, most things really notice that that so many things for entertainment really have to do with information, right? You know, whether it's a video game or a book or whatever. But the point is that we can charge quite a lot for information. There's this myth out there that no, you can't charge for information anymore. It doesn't work. You know, maybe maybe you can charge for kind of forum access or something like that, but but you can't charge for information. And it's just really strictly speaking, not true. Okay, I, I I you know just built business after business. You know, six, seven, eight figure websites, and what they do is they sell information. And you know you can have something that that really costs you a few bucks to fulfill and it makes you thousands okay and and it's really that that's really really changes the game and I, I know you're involved in this because you're involved in OMG you, you've seen you know us selling products and then they work right like we sell a blueprint for how to rank number one on SEO and then training on how to you know go from say 50 visitors uh, to your website per day to to trade all the way up to really making thousands tens of thousands 
hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars, okay? And th this is very powerful. So, so the thing is that, um, th that I really what I want you to have in this video is an understanding and a recognition that that information is valuable. People are going to the internet and they're searching for things. And you know, if you need me to give you more examples, it could be, um, you know, something that there, uh, uh, something that people are worried about. Um, <clears throat> uh, chest pain, right? That's a big one. Uh, you know, people worry about that, or people might worry about um, uh, my child is struggling. Look at this, in school, in math, in college, with writing, right? All these things you know, come up. Uh, I am struggling in college, with my faith, at work, with weight loss, okay? Um, uh, stuff like, let me see if I got, a, yeah, P90X right here. What is this? Huge, it's an information product. You know, I mean, for $200, they're selling, you know, little plastic, you have plastic and cardboard, right? Because what is a CD, a CD or a DVD? DVD is plastic, right? It's plastic and cardboard, 200 bucks. Yeah. Um, this also uh, happens with bonuses as well. Um, so so with, with a bonus, then, uh, then, then so often what we can do is we can give somebody an information bonus uh, to stack on to what it is that they're already getting, to augment it, to complete it, um, to uh, to kind of build context around it. Okay, so uh, information can also be used as a powerful bonus, uh, including to get people to buy physical goods, to get them to buy. I know, like constantly, like looking around for, you know, whatever, to get them to buy P90X, give them a bonus, or to get them to buy, you know, a hard drive. You know, uh, 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 you know, some sort of information bonus. How to use the hard drive? How to properly set up your hard drive? Whatever. Now, um, so so how do we do this then? How do we go about doing it? Well, um, th th this is somewhere where you're going to want to reference your results formula training because the real powerful thing that we want to do with information products is really connect the dots. Okay, we want to be able to go through somebody's entire experience and not skip over steps. We want to go all the way from the first step, all the way to the last step. You know, I was trying to figure out how to how to do a Google Hangout as a webinar, and it was incredible because everything that was out there, all the training that was out there on it, skipped steps, and I just couldn't I couldn't figure out how to do it in in a limited time. I was I was kind of trying to get it done uh, a little bit on the fly, and so we really want to have things that connect all the dots. Or if it's the kind of thing um, where people really have to put their creativity into it, like teaching somebody art or teaching somebody about you know, relationship advice or, uh, you know, uh, some, something about their faith or whatever, then, then at least you know, where they can't necessarily do A, B, and C and, and, and have success, okay, then we at least want to give them as many clear-cut steps as possible and, and fill in context around it, give them support, um, give them motivation, and, and give them as much insight as possible uh, to really help them be successful. And the best guiding stone with this is really, as I constantly say, face-to-face -face sales, being able to talk to your customers, listen to them, listen to what they're saying, hearing what they're struggling with, and also look around on Google. You know, if, if I want to uh, figure out a product on people who are struggling with their faith, then let's see what Google is saying is going on for those people. And let's, let's go through these entries. Let's go through uh, forums here, you know, uh, Catholic forums. Let's get some idea. I'm saying if you're starting, if you're kind of starting from scratch or starting from nowhere, then, then what about that? You know, maybe go to Christian Live Journal. You know, at least look and see what answers they're encountering so you can see where the gaps are and, and sort of fill in those gaps. Um, this is really a way that you can become successful. Now, what about for local marketing? You know, I've talked a lot about like kind of affiliate examples, but does this work for local? Absolutely, it works for local. Um, one of the things that we're doing is we're producing information. So even if you're ranking your local dentist, okay, one of the things that we got is really great uh, insight from Joe Marfolio is he gives uh, status reports, you know, monthly status reports. I said I was going to put up a new video for you, and I have put up a new video for you, and that video is already on page two of Google. The video I put up for you last month is now on page one of Google for this keyword and this keyword and this keyword, and so on. Status reports, like, like you know, the more that we're connecting the dots for people, the more we're, we're building them. One of the things I really like, I, I really want you to notice about this. <clears throat> so this, uh, 
Apple does this as well, but it's just kind of lucky that I had this here. You know, I bought these, you know, I guess somewhat expensive headphones. I don't know how much they cost, like a hundred bucks or whatever, but they're these, you know, kind of ear, not, they're not like the big cans over the ears, but the little, um, earbud things with the string or whatever. Um, so the packaging is quite nice in this, you know, uh, they, first of all, they provide you with, this is a pretty good example. They provide you with a number. I'm still trying to figure out what, what kind of the best is for my ear, but they provide you, I don't know how well you can see it. It's probably not all that well, but I'll, eh, maybe if I kind of show you more individually, uh, they provide you with these little different options for what's going to go actually in your ear. Um, you know, this one's kind of spherical, kind of, kind of a dome. A lot of, a lot of them are kind of dome-ish. And so you can figure out, you know, which one is best for your ear. And then they provide you with uh, kind of a number of, you know, here's the warranty information. And here is, what is this? Little, uh, I don't even know what this is. Some, some, something else that they gave you. Uh, this is a little, a little product catalog that they give you. Um, and the, the casing is very nice for this. Okay, it's just kind of, you know, kind of nice kind of a good feeling opening it up and it's got a little a little space up at the top to put your manuals in and can kind of keep things very nicely there. And then here's the, the space that the, all the stuff came in and it came with a little zip case and so forth. Nice packaging, right? Well, think about the same thing when we're packaging things up and Apple does this as well. If you've ever bought an Apple product or an iPhone, uh, something like that. A lot of companies do this nowadays. Um, the, you know, the, the nicer we package things for people, the nicer it is for people. You see me do this with my HTML emails. It makes it more enjoyable for people to read. So uh, you know, keep this in mind when it comes to local because the nicer the packaging for people, uh, you know, showing people that you care, because remember, they're also looking for that sense of contact, content and contact. Don't, don't just because we're going after content, don't drop the contact. The contact makes them feel more full. Okay, makes them like feel like they're they're getting more. Okay, um, so uh, thank you for enjoying this video with me. Check out your results formula training again in light of what we talked about here, and really turn information to your uh, to your advantage.